Namaste. I'm Sunil Rao, founder and director, QS Consultants. QS Consultants is a management consulting company with its focus on developing individual human potential and an integrated approach in building successful organizations. We all think we know about money. But do we understand the functions of money, what money actually is, and what it represents? These and many more interesting questions are explored by George Kassabaw in his article <coughs> titled Debt, Trust and the Functions of Money. You can read the entire article in the, uh, by clicking on the link provided in the description below. I'm sharing an excerpt here. Money has always been two-faced, appearing both as a technology and as an object of value. It began as a process of accounting by relating the value of many different things to a standard one, to the value of a weight of silver or a bushel of grain. It later developed into something more abstract, not related to a commodity, but to a universal scale of economic value. However, because people find it easier to think of objects than to think of processes, they focus on the object, the piece of silver, and ignore the process which defines the meaning of the idea. They mistakenly think of the value of money rather than valuation by money. When the idea about the measuring unit of value, money was turned into something actually valuable, into gold coins, they seem to be the actual commodity rather than an intermediate measuring device. Since then, the mistaken idea that the token for money, the coin, is the actual wealth has caused much confusion about the nature of real wealth. Unfortunately, when we think of money, a noun, we automatically think of coins, of valuable metals, not of an institution by which the process of trust is administered, a verb. We should not think of what money is, but of what money does. Which brings us to the point, what we, what we, you all, what we give attention to matters. And why is that? because our life's journey would ultimately amount to whatever we had paid attention to. So I'm sure you will come across some more interesting facts and amazing stories about functions of money as you read the article. I hope you enjoy reading it. Get on with uh, reading the article by clicking on the, on the link provided in the description below. Have a good day. Thank you very much.